friends, welcome to Drop Spot. So in today's video, we are going to be interacting with Phoenix. Phoenix is the first private blockchain to use advanced homophoric encryption technology. It is founded by Guy Zeiskind, founder of Secret Network. This project was just launched a few months ago, but then it has managed to get a lot of attention from the media and also from several venture capital, such as Multicoin Cap, Collider VC, Robot Ventures, Bankless HQ, and others. In the future, the project is going to be in its public testnet phase, where it is going to be incentivized with other type of incentivized campaign. However, it is currently in its devnet stage, and we are participating now because it is always beneficial when you are part of the early users of a project before it becomes public. So, there are, because it's in its devnet stage, there are not much features to test. However, we are going to do the little that we can in this video. If you would like to read more about Phoenix project and what it is all about, what it has to offer, their fundings and everything, then make sure that you read the uh, FAQ section of that Discord server. So let's get started. Open up your browser and then paste the link to the Phoenix DevNet site in your search bar. If you look closely, you are going to see that the website gives you hints on what to do, where to tap. So you are going to connect with your MetaMask. And then it is going to ask you for permission to add a new network, Phoenix network. So grant the permission and then switch to Phoenix network. Now you are going to tap on get coins. You can see the queue. Tap on get coins. And here you are going to get some 100 FHC balance. You can see that the balance has been added here. So next, you are going to tap on Mint 10 Tokens. And then you are going to sign that. You are going to confirm it in your wallet. Now, after the 10 tokens have reflected in your balance, you are going to switch that encryption toggle. You are going to switch it on. You can see that it is now encrypted, it is in a red, in red color. Now you are going to tap on Mint 10 tokens for the second time. So take note, the first time you tap on Mint 10 tokens, you are not the encryption button is going to be off. And then the second time that you tap on Mint 10 tokens, the encryption button has to be on. Then you are going to confirm that in your wallet. So it does take a time, it does take some time before each of the actions that you do on this website is successful, but that's because they are still in the early stage. So if it is taking so long on your end, just know that it is normal and you just need to be patient. So we have been able to mint uh, the, the second 10 tokens. Next, you are going to tap that send button and then you are going to transfer some tokens to any MetaMask wallet address. So in the first box, Paste the wallet address that you would be transferring to and then the second box indicates the amount that you would like to transfer. Then tap on send. And then take note that for now when an action is successful there are no visual cue like a, so a transaction successful, something like that that tells you that a transaction is successful. You will just notice when it stops loading when it stops trying to load on your screen like my screen is currently loading when the transaction is successful it will stop loading that is how you know there is no other visual cue for that at the moment Now that is successful and that's all you need to do. You can see your transaction record at the bottom of your screen. Tap on show UI activity and then you can see the transactions that you have performed and their status. You can see everything is successful. So what I am doing right now is I am taking a screenshot of my transaction 
and then I will copy my wallet address that I used for this transaction and then what I'm going to do next is I am going to go to Phoenix Discord. I will leave the link in the comment section for your convenience. And in their Discord server, under feedback and suggestion, you are going to paste the screenshot that you just took and also your wallet address. However, that is why it is called feedback and suggestion. They need to know more than the fact that you did testnet. So if you have any feedback or any suggestion as to how they can improve their product, you can also add it along with the wallet address and screenshot that you are pasting. So that's all that you need to do. You can see others are also making suggestions and dropping their wallet address. So that's all you need to do for the Phoenix testnet. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comment section or in our group chat. Drop a comment. If you have enjoyed watching any of my content, then make sure that you give me a like on this video and you also subscribe to my channel so that you won't miss out when Phoenix Testnet is live, when the incentivized stage is live. So that's all for the Phoenix Testnet video. Thanks for watching and I will see you in another video.